Hey, how are you doing? Camila here with the wardrobe group, and I have Matthews. How y'all doing? <laughs> um, just wanted to jump on here and have a conversation. So, how was your week in real estate, Matthews? Um, week was good. Um, mainly focused on. Well, I guess um, it's only Wednesday, though. Yeah. It feels like it's been going on for a long time. The weeks, the weeks kind of <laughs> go into each other a they, little bit. They merge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, what'd you say? You would say we, we start our week on Monday, right? That kind of. Yeah. For the, the most week. part. Like our, our work week starts on Monday. Yeah. Um, so we always have a Monday meeting and kind of go over um, everything that happened the previous week and talk about what we're going to do for the the upcoming week yeah so um I mean, we started good so far yeah. as far as getting houses under contract and um they mainly focus on a couple of listings that we have yeah so that's that's kind of been my focus for this week yeah so i i am um really going to just jump on here because I feel like lately I've been having to have a lot of reality check conversations <laughs> with people. Oh, darn it. I have actually a situation where I have a client that, um, well, no, let me tell you about a good reality check conversation that I had. Ooh, dropping everything. So we basically have a new listing that will eventually come up. And the reason I say eventually, because this house is, um, how do I say it? It needs, it needs some serious updating, but I'm so excited about it because our clients are open to updating the house. And this is an example of something that I see in our community all the time, especially when you're talking about like your grandparents home. They own a house in the middle of Raleigh. And this house has not had a touch of paint since the 80s. But all these investors just keep calling and, and keep harassing. And technically, if we put it on the market in its current condition, we probably won't even be able to sell it for 200000 But all the other houses that have been updated around it have basically sold for like 450000 so it's so exciting because they're open, they're open to doing the work. And rather than just basically leaving money on the table, they are willing to, and hopefully even able, because we're working on the financing now, but they're going to do some creative financing so that they're able to pull money out of the home to do the renovations and sell it and possibly walk away with a couple of hundreds of thousands of dollars. I know you guys have seen like time and time again, houses in downtown Raleigh, downtown Durham that are like, you would never expect these houses to sell for five, six, $800,000. And the thing is the land that, that $800,000 is sitting on was sold for what? 50. I've heard, I've heard of, I've heard stuff of, they had back taxes and an investor convinced them to sell it for $30,000. And then they turned around and put a $500,000 house on it. And my thing is, if we were able to come in, help that person who's back on their taxes, get the proper financing, do the flip themselves, they could flip their own house. And that's what's basically happening. We're we're basically about to flip. She's about to flip her own house, and in order to in order to get to get the money that she deserves. So the, uh, the word of the day, kids, is equity. <laughs> equity. <clears throat> when we when we're talking about home ownership, um, you know, equity. First of all, just a, I'm not give you. a Webster's dictionary definition, but hey, give it. But basically, the definition of equity is just going to be it's the difference between what you owe on the property versus what the property is worth. 
yeah. right? Yeah. So the, the value of the property minus how much you owe on it is how much equity you have. And so for a lot of these houses, like that, what she's talking about, you like know, your she, grandma. She only owes. Well, yeah. first of all, a lot of people, they don't even owe anything. They owe nothing. A lot yeah. of times people owe nothing on the house at all. And if yeah. they do owe something, they may owe they may owe 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars. Even if they owe a hundred thousand, <clears> which a lot, a lot of times they don't in these situations. But even if they do, if you're talking about an area, you start paying attention to houses that are selling around you yeah. and you start noticing that, okay, this house sold over here for 300 thousand this house sold for 350 this house sold for 400 and it keeps climbing up and up and up and you know that okay the house that i'm in is a three bedroom 1600 square feet two car garage and a three bedroom 1500 square feet two car garage down the street sold for 300 thousand then that's an indication that you know, especially if you have a couple times, that's an indication that the homes around you are starting to build equity. Yeah. And so you take what those houses are sold minus how much you owe on your house, and that's the amount of equity that you have. And technically that's also the amount that you're worth. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, you, you sit around and you hear about Jay-Z and he's worth now almost close to $2 billion. And you don't look at yourself as a hundred thousandaire because you live in this house that you only owe, you know, a hundred thousand on. But the neighbor down the street just sold their house for three hundred thousand. That means you're worth three. I mean, two hundred thousand yeah. dollars. And technically, you could go to a bank and say, "I want my two hundred thousand dollars," like, and they will give it to you. And that's one of the things that I don't think that we fully grasp. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and. You know, does it do a plug? Yeah, go ahead and plug. Go to TW, sellwithtwg.com if you want to know your equity. Yeah. If you go to sellwithtwg.com, we can go ahead and reach out to you, get you all that information. Or if you go to my home is worth, I want to say my house is worth that. My house is worth dot, dot net. net. My house is worth dot net. Um, I really do. But I'll, you know, yeah. I'll put it in the notes somewhere. But I said all that to say, you need to know your equity. I've had clients who will say to me, well, I don't have that much equity. I've only paid off like 30, 40, $50,000 off, off the principal. And I'm like, no, 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 ma'am. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. We're not talking about how much you pay down on your loan. That's just the amount that you pay down. We're talking about how much the house is worth. How much the house is worth. Because it's, it's, it's going both ways. It's like you're paying it down. So you're moving, you're moving towards a zero value right yeah but as you're moving towards paying it down if the market is increasing then the well i should do it this way as you're paying it down the market is increasing and going up so that space that space right in there between that's that's your equity that's your equity that's that's what we're talking about yeah and and, and what you can do with that so let them know the different things that you can do oh that. yeah some fun stuff that i hope that we can take advantage of this year our goal is to get into that the in-between space and take that money out and use that as down payments on investment properties, um, down payment on our vacation home. Um, you know, I mean, heck, you, you, I don't recommend that you use it to pay off or pay down debt, but let's say that you did, let's say that you put your student loans in that space that is now going to sit in your house and more than likely, with the way inflation is going, you go put your fifty thousand dollars in student loans, in in your equity. You lose that equity and put fifty thousand dollars in student loans in there. By the time we hit this time next year, it's basically canceled out. Yeah. So you paid off your student loans in a year because you refinanced with a cash out refinance and paid off your student loan so that you're no longer paying this extra bill. And now you're at a place where you don't have student loans. All you have is a, I think, mortgage payment. Or you didn't get student loans in the first place because <laughs> your, you know, your people use the equity to mm -hmm. pay for your school instead, yeah. of, instead of getting student loans. Yeah. So you know, people, people, people do it all the time. Yeah. It's just that we have to know how to do it and do it right. Um, 
So I am super excited for this client because I constantly am seeing, you know, especially our elders getting pushed away from the table, just getting thrown the scraps. But at this situation and this time, we're able to sit, have a seat at the table and make money off the table. Like, this is our table. We made the table, Like you know what I'm saying? So um, this is going to be fun. I'm going to make sure I document it um, so that you guys can see it because technically I'm going to be managing it. Um, But uh, if you have a family member who's sitting on a house, you guys have been given a house um, as an estate, you know, your, your you grandparents, inherited you inherited a house. Please don't just go and sell that. Don't do it. Especially don't don't just go and sell it to the first person that, you know, calls and sends you a letter saying, hey, I'll buy your house cash. If they're going to buy your house for 200000 you know what that means? It means your house is worth 400000 <laughs> yeah. If they're going to buy your house for six, I mean, for 300000 that means your house is worth six. Let's keep that in mind. Especially if it's ugly. Now, if it's yeah. a raggedy house, now, if that joint is raggedy and they coming around talking about they're gonna buy your house for yeah. two hundred and fifty thousand, you are sitting on a gold mine. Now let's be let's be clear though, because I, I don't want to throw out confusion. When we when she's saying if they offer you two hundred thousand, your house is worth four hundred thousand. That doesn't necessarily mean it's worth four hundred thousand in the current in the state current that state. In. Absolutely. We're saying that if houses around it that have been renovated, houses around it that have been rehabbed are selling in the, in the fives then your house renovated or rehabbed will be selling in that amount so what we're talking about doing and that's the reason why we're saying to pull the equity out mm-hmm. is using the equity that you pull out of the home to then renovate or rehab the home to get it up to mm-hmm. um where it needs to be yeah <clears throat> yeah so that was exciting that was a fun conversation that we had with a client um a sad conversation that i just had (laughs) with a client is i you know i have a i have a client that i sold a house to many 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 years ago many moons ago and um he bought a townhouse in Cary. if you're from this area you know you already know you know what's up and he bought that joint for like one hundred and thirty thousand dollars a townhouse, a townhouse and carry for one hundred and thirty thousand. That also showed you how long ago. But yeah, yeah, exactly. But now, clearly, that house is worth it. It's in the mid threes. So he's ready to go. He's engaged. By the way, he went to buy his house, and he is ready to spend some money. He got money, <laughs> and I even said to me today, "I'm so this is so depressing." He's ready to spend, we've gone up to as much as $800,000, $800,000. And I honestly think what he's asking for is not that much. He wants a downstairs master. He wants perhaps a bedroom downstairs, but it's not necessary. He just wants a downstairs master. He wants at least 2,500 square feet. He wants at least a quarter of an acre. He would like to get a three car garage. And of course he wants it to be kind of sexy he wants it to cut uh, you know some, some nice nicer nicer uh, finishes, finishes in it yeah. i mean honestly what what's that i mean but the problem is and i and i cannot stress this enough when he started and when he thought he wanted to buy the house he was he more than likely was going to be in the five hundred thousand. yeah what has now transpired and it's really hitting me is when i start really putting in those parameters those things we're now sitting at a, he's not going to be able to find anything under 830. 800. Gonna, I was going to show my screen. Yeah. I can show my screen. You should, you should yeah, give people yeah. a little taste. Yeah. And I mean, you can do it right there. Do it right here. So this is our website, just in case you ain't never been on it. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to put in here, we're going to say Wake County. Um, and I will say this, I'm super excited about it. Our site now has Charlotte and it has the coast. So any of my people looking for beach houses and things like that, I mean, yeah, you can um, you can look on our site for that. So let's see, Wake County, we're just gonna do Wake County and then I'll expand our search. Okay. I just- is it coming up? Yeah. Okay. 
with our life so that's good yeah <laughs> I'll say wait till first. All right? So there it is. Wait. That's okay. Um I think you just get it moving forward. Yeah. Right. So let me say we're just gonna say eight hundred thousand. Here, John. So we're thirty one properties. Now here's the thing. We're gonna he only wants new construction so we'll even just say 2021. we'll say 2021 and what happens it goes down to 14 properties and then three car garage yeah well you don't want to put that <laughs> in there <laughs> well i'll show you let's see um more options and we put three car garage Zero. nothing Nothing. Let's get rid of this. Three car garage. So see what just happened. You see what happened? <laughs> Eleven properties came up, mm -hmm. but that eight hundred thousand is out the window. It's out the window. Let's sort it. Let's look at the cheapest. Nine hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars. That's a nice. It is sexy. I sent this to him because honestly, the conversation that we're now having is, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. I really am. I'm sorry to tell you this, but the house that you want is a million dollars. And the even worse part about that is the house that you want this time last year was 600, 600, was 600,000 dollars. I just had a conversation uh, with one of our agents today because he pretty much has a, um, I don't even know if I talk to you about this, but mm. <laughs> pretty much has a um, client that's kind of considering not moving forward with his uh, deal that he has in a contract. And it's really all about, you know, I guess maybe not being comfortable with, um, the month payment and some other things that are just kind of coming up and <clears throat> what i was saying was you have to at this point in the decision making process when it comes to buying real estate you have to weigh out okay even okay even if even if the house that i'm buying right now is not the house that i want let's just say you know, for those of you that have been looking for a while and you feel like you are settling, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> see my air quote? Yeah. You feel like you're settling because you're not necessarily getting a house that has all your hopes and dreams in it. Mm -hmm. But if you don't purchase today, it's yeah. just for people who are renting. Yeah. If you don't purchase today, then that same house, even if you were to say, you know what? I'm not going to purchase it right now. I'm just going to wait for the market to cool down or whatever people say um, in the streets. And <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm going to wait till next year and, and do it. That same exact house, number one, the price of the house is going to go up. Yeah. That's number one. Yeah. Number two, interest rates are going to go up. So even if the house price stays the same, the amount that you're going to pay for that house is going to be higher. And just to break it down even more, if today you qualify because you're settling, you're concerned that you're settling, you qualify for three hundred and fifty thousand. You choose to wait for the market to, to to come down. By this time next year, interest rates are projected to be in the fours. So not only unless you receive a huge raise, more than likely the prices of the house, the house that you felt like you were settling with, is going to go up in price. But then also the amount that you qualify for is going to do what? It's going to go down. It's going to go down. So and here, and, and here's here we the are thing. with another <laughs> this, this is house prices. This is, this is, this is this your, your quali interest rate. qualify yeah. uh, amount yeah. that you qualify for. Mm -hmm. That that space in between is uh is not called equity. Uh-uh. That is not called equity. <laughs> nah. And I mean, just even going back to this, let's look at this house. For instance, this one is is a million bucks, thirty four hundred square feet. Um, I think it's gonna have a four car garage. 
Um, but I want to just scroll down to the bottom to see if maybe we can look at homes that are similar and more than likely that have already sold. So like this house, we're looking at a million bucks. This one, we just got to try to remember stuff. It, this one is 3,400 square feet. So just remember that. So this house, 3,500 square feet, just closed uh, yesterday, 952,000. Uh, this house sold December 13th. Let's see if they still pull up more. 844, it's not letting me get more properties. Scroll. I'm trying to, if I was on my phone, I could just scroll. Oh, right here. Okay, well, these are pending. Okay, so this one's pending 800,000, 3,300 square feet. So mind you, right now, this one hasn't even closed yet. And this house is gonna be now worth, once that million dollar house sells, let's be clear, it's going to sell. That house is going, that this house is now gonna have $200,000 in equity. This house is going to have 225,000 in equity. Um, let's not even go here, 751. I can keep going. And these are all in the same neighborhood. 796, 754. When did 754 close? Uh, December. December 30th? 3,200 square, 3, square feet. I mean, I, I'm just letting you see that the, these houses are going up dramatically. And Let's just not even make it about 700,000. Let's just see if we can find something in, once again, we're gonna say Wake County. Let's say Wake County. And we wanna look at, the, they said the average price point right now is in the 400,000. So we're just gonna say max price is 400,000. So, Let's search on. So we're gonna look at everything. We're gonna look at everything, and <clears throat> let's just look at what the typical uh, buyer is looking for. They're looking for a three bedroom. They're looking for at least a two bath. Um, <laughs> um, well, we don't have to have garages. What else do you want to say? Um. First of all, let's just check out it. Yeah. I, I all see. of Wake County has only got 76 properties that are active. Okay. So inventory is ridiculously low. Throw a, throw a garage in there just to okay. just make it make it interesting. Yeah. Okay. So now we got a garage. 32 properties. 32 properties. And this is Youngsville, almost three hundred thousand dollars. This joint don't even have a all the siding on the job. <laughs> 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 it's also even got all the siding, you know. Um, but they they working on it, yeah. you know. But I just need you to see it's listed for two ninety one right now. But this one in in what is it April sold for two sixty five. Same, same street. So within within less than a year, it's already built up. Thirty thousand dollars in equity. Um, let's see what else we can find. This was three ten, um, but I don't know why it says zero zero zero. Um, so it sold for even more money. <laughs> Who's to say this one probably is going to sell for three ten? We're not even going to go there. Um, and then this one sold for two twenty two, and that one sold in in March. So. <sighs> This is not your, just your, you know, you're probably thinking Wake Forest, of course it's gonna go up that much. It's in Wake Forest. Nah, this is everything. Everywhere. It's everywhere. Um, Zebulon Road, just the fact that it's called Zebulon Road tells me he's on a main road. This truck gonna sell like a mud. Uh, let's see if I can find something. These are, these are brand new, 350,000. Um, but I, I just, I, I want to always come up here with information to hopefully 
Uh, I don't want to use the word encourage. I want to motivate you. Motivate. I want to motivate you because this is not a very encouraging word. <laughs> this is not. This is not uh, uh, something like you know. I, I don't know what that. This, this is definitely not encouraging you. This is definitely, hopefully, telling you the truth. And I'm here to tell you the truth. Um, that th this area, this market, um, we're definitely at a place where we are seeing prices go up to a level that we've never seen before, that no one has seen before, that we can't even calculate. Hey, can, can I say something? Mm -hmm. this, this bothers me. I'm mm -hmm. just going to say it because we got the platform to say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that house that you just showed. Uh huh. How much they have? Three hundred thousand. Yeah. So, what happens is, people will look at this house. Yeah. And I always hear people say, "Oh, that house ain't worth three hundred thousand." Yeah. And first of all, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What appraisal class did you take <laughs> that gives you the authority to give your opinion of the house's value? A Raleigh. Let's be clear. Raleigh two seven six one five. Yeah. This uh, this house. Yes, I understand what you're saying. And don't get me wrong. I know when people say, oh, the house is not worth that amount. What you're talking about is aesthetically, it's not aesthetically pleasing. So you're saying it's not, the house doesn't look like a $300,000 house. Yeah. But what you have to understand is what you think a $300,000 house is has changed. Yeah. And no, this doesn't look like a $300,000 house. Mm -hmm. I admit that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm with you and I agree mm -hmm. that it doesn't look like one. But regardless of what it looks like, yeah. if it's a three hundred thousand dollar house, it's a three hundred thousand dollar house. Right. And if this is what it looks like at three hundred thousand, then you repair it, you get it back up to. Because let's look once again. We're talking about this zip code. This zip code. If you look that zip code up and yeah. you notice that the houses around it that are that new or upgraded yeah. are selling for five hundred five hundred thousand, then guess what? This house. At the repair value is five hundred thousand, yeah. and that's that's how it works. I don't I don't know how to say it any other way, but I I just know that that's the conversation that I hear, and I hear people saying yeah. things all the time, like, "Oh, that house is not worth this amount. This house is not worth this amount." Mm -hmm. But I think they're basing it on um, <laughs> what what they're basing it on. You know, when they bought a house back in mm -hmm. the early '90s, and this house would be one fifty. Yeah, this house, this house is only a hundred thousand dollar house. Yeah, at in nineteen ninety two, it was. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Or when was this built? Nineteen eighties. Yeah. So in nineteen ninety, this house was a hundred thousand right. dollars. Yeah, that. <laughs> right. But it's not anymore, yeah. and it and it and it might not ever be for a very very long time yeah because the um the area has changed yeah um our property values have increased yeah and the idea or thought that they're going to decrease really anytime soon is not really it's not really what's happening yeah. so yeah. just yeah um yes and i think know that. and i think one of the things is um you know I, that's why we do encourage people to look out, you know, but venture out a little bit, but let's be very clear. <laughs> Ain't nothing anywhere near this joint. Let's go into counties and then we'll get off, get out of here. But I, I feel like it's necessary. So we're just going to say Franklin. So Franklin County is parts of Wake Forest, Youngsville, Franklinton, um, let's talk about Johnston. I don't even want to put Durham County. Uh, Granville. Granville. So Nash. Nash, and we could say even Harnett. So going back to what we want. And mind you, this is all on wartorefgroup.com if you guys are trying to figure out what website it is. Oh, man, this is such a cool website. It is such a cool website. What website is this? <laughs> um, let's make sure. We're doing active and coming soon. Oh, Lord. 
Um, we want at least, going back to it, we want at least one car garage. So we still got a lot. Um, now we do want to put a max uh, price range. So we're going to put $400,000 as the max. Um, you want to put a year? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do like 20, yeah, 2000, yeah. Okay. Now, one thing I do want to say is we do want only, we'll just say detached. Yeah, the same family only. And, and for my sake, just don't, don't do anything that's below like 1200 square feet. Okay. We'll even do attached and we say uh, we don't want anything. Let's see. Just for the sake of this. Okay. Yeah. So now we got 97 properties. So you can get an idea of where you're going. So we are in Broadway is what? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> where is Broadway? I want to say that Harnett County. Yeah, Harnett County. Okay. That's cute. But it's Broadway. It's Broadway. You're gonna be in Broadway. Though. Yeah. Um, and we are getting into a market where you're going to have to drive to get to work. The idea of the 20 minute drive to work is no longer an option, to be honest with you. Uh, these are four oaks. I wanna say these are they're not showing the exterior, of course. What are the wonderful? Yeah, that's a townhouse. Yeah. It's a townhouse, yeah. So these are townhouses, but I can't see. I think we still say garage. So it's at least one of the three bedroom attached garage. Oh, so it's this one. So they're even ranch style. Oh, that's nice. Are these attached too? Yeah. Does it say attached? Yeah, right there. Probably oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Um, under two fifty. Under two fifty. Four oaks. Um, so they got a bunch of these. Uh, we're going back to it. We can do some things, but you're gonna have to drive. Look at this one. Spring Lake. Under two seventy. Great. Nice. Yeah. But you're gonna have to drive. Ooh, bun level. Bun level. Have y'all ever driven the bun level before? <laughs> I have. It's not that bad. Not from downtown it, Raleigh. It depends on, yeah, it depends on where you're going. Yeah. You know, um, it's really, we our goal is to shift your mindset. And I need you to put a little bit of fire, just a little bit of fire. There got to be some fire in you. Bailey's only like 30 minutes from Bailey, Raleigh. Bailey, yeah. Done. It's about 45 minutes, and this is brand new construction two car garage. Rocky Mount, that's the hot spot right now. Um, 285. This is a very nice house. This house in Raleigh, you can add about two, three hundred thousand to that jump. Um, so good stuff. Just wanted to come up here and talk to y'all. And what, and mind you, I've yet to even do and talk about. What I came up here to talk about, which was our home bar seminar. Hey. We have a home bar seminar happening next Saturday. You can register by going to twggettingstarted.com. We talk about a lot. We educate our clients on the process and the market um, just so that they're not moving into this thing haphazardly. Um, and we're excited. You like that word? Yeah. <laughs> That was nice. Did I use it right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm back in. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, we're um we just trying to we we just trying to help our community, you know, one one home at a time, build a wealth and relationship, you know. And um that's it. Yeah. So once again, this is <clears throat> Camila and Matthews. We are the founders and CEOs of the Wardsworth Group. So over $120 million in real estate and over 500 and something properties. <laughs> and we've been running for a long time. We ain't tired yet. yet. <laughs> we ain't tired yet. We're going to get y'all in some houses. So we're excited about it. Please let your friends, family know that we are having a home buyer seminar next Saturday. They can register by going to twggettingstarted.com. Thank you, Mommy, for posting that. <laughs> One of my top buyer's agents. Um, killing it in the game. So, please let us know how we can help you. 
Um, we're super excited about getting you in a home. This is a good year to buy. Believe great, it or not, great year to great buy. Great year to buy. Because believe it, like I said, this time next year, <laughs> oh, I'm saying she's the top agent. She's <laughs> <laughs> I cannot no, with you. No. Not with, one of the top. No, she. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, this is this is definitely a time because when it's all said and done, you buy a house today, you're going to be worth a lot of money this time next year. He'll thank us later. He'll thank us later. He really will. All right, friends, we'll be back. We're going to try to do these more often. But thank you all. Join us for our next Homebuyer Seminar, TWGGettingStarted.com. Yeah, and if y'all ever have any, any questions or whatever, because this will be posted, yeah. drop your questions on the comment section. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, we'll grab those questions for the next video and, and try to um, try to answer them. Yeah. Answer them. So, yeah. It, awesome. Yeah. If you have any questions, we can we can talk all day about just one question. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah. Because we're on YouTube, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Thank you all. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.